So many local towns and cities are saving money and reducing greenhouse gas emissions by using electric vehicles in their city fleets. Weymouth, Braintree, and Situate all use them. New Bedford has 24. The city council has asked Mayor Koch to explore using electric vehicles for Quincy's fleet. What more would you do as a city councilor to assure that Quincy takes advantage of this opportunity? 60 seconds or less. I, I, I think um, probably the first thing I would do is bang the drum a little bit up in the city council meetings and say, why has it been over a year? If, if we've asked and talked about electric vehicles, why don't we have even one in, in a year's time? And the electrical vehicles, a few years ago, they weren't all that efficient and they were very expensive compared to um, a gasoline vehicle. Now, the, the cars, the electric cars today, uh, are very efficient and the cost is coming in line with the regular automobiles. So I guess the, the thing I would say is, what would I do is like, why, why do we not have electrical charging stations already set up in the city? So when we do have electric vehicles, there's a spot to actually charge up the vehicles. And that would give the citizens a little bit of hope that if they bought an electric car, they may be able to charge it up as opposed to just charging at their house. And of course, they could have solar panels in their house to charge the electric cars. I mean, eventually, through the correct leadership, we could have, we really could have a zero net, but we need leadership to do that. So if, we've, if we talked to the, the city a year ago about this, well, why don't we have it yet? I don't understand. Well, um, yes, I, I've, I've actually spoken uh, with the mayor directly about this. Um, I'll continue to work collaboratively, collaboratively with him. My belief is that the administration will always keep an open door to any initiative like this. But I think I'll, I'll be incumbent on all of us uh, to show that we can begin using electric vehicles, as was mentioned, in our fleet without substantially increasing capital costs or reducing the productivity of those vehicles. I've suggested a methodical, a methodical approach uh, that perhaps starts with the non-utility vehicles of our fleet, um, the cars that building inspectors or our health inspectors use, and to continue to um, choose, find other, other alternative ways um, in our different departments. So thank you. Um, this is sort of a multi-step answer, but the first piece is you gotta find out what's the average age of the vehicle fleet? Are they recent purchases? Are they leases? When is the opportunity to turn them over? You don't wanna divest of a bunch of um, high mileage um, getting, uh, I think they're mostly Ford Focuses is what I see. If they're all brand new, you don't wanna dump them now. That's a huge loss to the city and just net cost, but also the cost to act uh, in envir the environment um, to produce all those new vehicles that you're now going to get. But in any case, you would need lots of inst infrastructure in place. You would need charging stations. Um, if people are taking these cars home, they're gonna need a charging station at home as well. But this all has to be sort of sorted out and there needs to be a plan on it. But there's something we could certainly ask for is what is the plan and when can we have it by? And then we can bring it back to you. And that's my answer. So, um I just wanted to double check because I know um, there was some information that we had asked for this a year ago, uh, and I just want to double check that, that this is something we voted on in May of 2017, asking the administration to study this. And, um, you know, I agree with Mike on this. You know, it's not... Uh, you know, it's not prudent to um, bring on vehicles and change them out if, if, if there's no need to. During budget season is when the different department heads come. They tell us their needs, particularly the police and fire, when equipment is necessary, when they need to change out vehicles. Um, so I fully expect in uh, May that the uh, police chief will be doing that when he approaches the council um, with a request for his budget. And again, so, so we've asked the administration to look at the um, cost benefit, uh, to do that cost benefit analysis for us and to report back. So um, that was May and I know David had uh, emailed me, I know several QCAN members uh, came to the meeting that evening and um, were very uh, successful in lobbying um, counselors uh, to vote for that. And um, 
you know, I was proud to support that. Uh, but again, I, I think it, we need to take a look at the cost benefit analysis to the city and when those vehicles are necessary to be turned over in the fleet um, is when that decision and eventual, you know, discussion is going to happen. Hi. Um, so I guess I'd say that I'm new to politics and I'm, I'm new to this whole thing and, and I know the wheels of government turn slowly, but you'll hear a lot of we're going to look at this and we're voting to look at looking at this and what we need to do is when it comes to climate change though is be more proactive. Um, I would, if I was on city council and we were talking about the electric cars, I would remind my fellow councilors that we don't have to follow all the time. We can lead sometimes. Braintree has doubled their fleet since they started their initiative, okay? I would remind them that electric cars, when they run, is the equivalent of spending $1.40 on gas and that it would lower uh, GHGs, it would reduce dependency on foreign oil, it would stabilize energy prices and create local jobs. And let's just start doing things. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. Uh, I think we're back to, again, uh, we talk a lot about electric cars, but uh, I, I keep thinking of all the, the, the public buildings we have uh, that we could really take a hard look at and make them energy efficient. Uh, the new schools we've taken care of, we've, we've really looked hard at this. Uh, I know Sterling, Quincy High got mentioned earlier, Central, and I know we're talking about Squanum, but there are other public buildings out there that um, we could get more energy efficient. The electric vehicles are great, and you know I think we should get into the business again with some inspectional services, some health services, just to see how things work out. And we probably should have already. But um, again, city buildings broader get broader, get more educated out there to even our own workers and our residents out there in regards to everything that was talked about tonight, recycling. Um, and uh, reducing our carbon footprint. 